What's up, everyone? Adam Ronas from Fantasy Alarm here with your Week 3 Yahoo DFS plays. Kicking it off at the quarterback position, going with Lamar Jackson. He's $35. That's the seventh highest priced quarterback this week, making him an appealing value. We know what he's going to do on the ground. Week 1, he had 12 carries, 86 yards, and a touchdown against Las Vegas. Last week against Kansas City, 16 carries, 107 yards, and two rushing touchdowns. He's also passed for one touchdown in each of the first two games, and this is a great matchup. The Lions are one of the worst defensive teams in the NFL. They're allowing an average of 38 points per game. They even allow Jimmy Garoppolo to pass for more than 300 yards in week one. At the running back position, going to go with Austin Eckler. He is $29, and after not getting a target in week one, he had nine last week, catching all of them for 61 yards. He had nine carries for 54 yards on the ground. Week one, he had a rushing touchdown. They're giving him goal line looks. He's heavily involved in the passing game, and Kansas City has really struggled to defend the run. They've allowed the third most fantasy points to running backs so far, and they've allowed four rushing touchdowns in the first two games to running backs. At wide receiver, how is Mike Williams only $18? Are you serious? We're finally getting the breakout. He's looked great, 22 targets through the first two games. Week 1, 12 targets, 8 catches, 82 yards, and a touchdown. Last week against Dallas, 10 targets, 7 catches, 91 yards, and a touchdown. Shaping up to be a shootout against Kansas City. The game total is 54.5 points. Gotta play Mike Williams at $18. At tight end, we're going to go with Kyle Pitts. He's $19, and yes, he hasn't lived up to lofty expectations so far. Solid game last week. He had five receptions for 73 yards on six targets against Tampa Bay. He had eight targets in week one, and this is a good matchup here against the Giants. They've allowed tight ends to really get production. Noah Fan had six catches for 62 yards on seven targets in week one. Last week, Logan Thomas had five catches for 45 yards on eight targets. They've allowed the fourth most fantasy points to tight ends, and they've allowed tight ends to score two touchdowns. And the value play, we're going to go with Kenyon Drake. He's only $14. This is assuming that Josh Jacobs is out. Yes, Peyton Barber was involved last week, but Drake played 71% of the snaps. He's heavily involved in the passing game. And if you like the revenge narrative, Drake going against his former team. So far in the first two weeks, five catches, 59 yards, five catches, 46 yards. And the Dolphins have struggled against the run. They've allowed 337 total yards to running backs, three rushing touchdowns, and 13 receptions. So those are your five plays for week three for Yahoo DFS. Good luck and go get that money.